Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is a sunny day in LA and right before I head out to the farmer's market, I wanted to make a quick video because last night I went to Ikea, the biggest Ikea in North America, the Burbank Ikea. And I went over because I needed a few items for a project that I'm working on, but it made me think of a quick video that I could put together. Ikea has been a big part of every move and every transition in my adult life when I was in college um, and then when I moved out on my own. I wanted to share five basic foundational items from Ikea that are timeless. We know that style changes so often, but I wanted to give you the five best items that will transition with you with whatever style you have. Don't get me wrong, I think there are some things at Ikea that I really, really don't like, and I do not ever recommend you having like everything Ikea. I do not recommend you ever having an Ikea showroom as part of your home. And sometimes when I go to a space, I can tell what item is from Ikea. I want to share with you those items that trick the eye and make you question, is this Ikea or not? When you tell people that this is an Ikea item, you want them to be surprised. Before we continue, if you like home decor, DIYs, and apartment living, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also, I've been having so much fun getting to know so many of you on Instagram, and I just love getting to see your day-to-day, -day, see your inspiration, see your place, see your space, and get inspired by the things that you put in your space. Number five, the frames that are right behind me, those are Ikea. I will try to show you with my tripod this gallery wall, which I will make a video about soon. So the frames behind me are very similar to the Ribba, R-I-B-B-A, although I think they only carry the black option, which is, I mean, these look like the black option, but these are actually, they have like a wooden detail on them, um, and those are only $12.99. They're a little bit thicker than a usual frame that you would buy, I don't know, anywhere else. And you could put photography, you could put some artwork, and for six of them, I don't know anywhere else where you can get a gallery wall like the one I have for anywhere from 60 to $75. That is a steal. And people are always commenting on it. It's one of the features when you walk into my space, it makes a statement. A gallery wall like that just upgrades your space so much. It does take some math to get everything put together and I will, I promise I will make a video soon about it because I've gotten so many messages about it, but I think it's one of the cheaper frames to make a gallery wall. Number four are the Volta League candle holders that comes in a set of three. It is $12.99, I believe it used to be about $14.99 and they brought the price down. I have so many of them. Quick story about that and a quick tip. Right before you pay, locate the clearance section. At least here in the Burbank IKEA, there's always a clearance section. If you look to the left or the right of where you're about to pay, you probably spot a big red sign that says clearance. It's all items, I believe, that are either from the showrooms or are returns. So you're definitely bound to find at least one thing. Some of the things there are trash, so really check before you get any of the items, they might be faulty. But I got these candle holders for anywhere from 150 to 250, um, so I got like 20 of them. These candle holder style can be found in so many places, but I haven't found a better price for them. I think they're great for setting out on a table or even using during special occasions like a nice dinner setting. So great option for a modern candlestick. Number three, and I had to group these together because I love both of them, bookcases and shelves in general. I am going to start with the Billy bookcase. I have the blue one, the dark blue one that is really popular right now. And I have to say, it is one of the nicer bookcases I've had ever. Um, it's very heavy, so you definitely want to make sure you have two people to carry it to your space. It's just one of those classic styles. They have different color options, so I have the blue one, but they have like a tan one. I've seen a red one, I've seen a black one, I've seen a white one. For $179, you are not going to find a bookcase that is that sturdy with glass doors anywhere. 
if you have a truck or something like a bigger car and you have a second person to help you, you might want to look on OfferUp because I'm sure you can find some Billy bookcases on there for lower than $179. The next one is a shelving unit. That brings me a lot of regret in the best way possible. I've had the Vizio shelf unit, which was $80. I loved the Vizio shelf. It fits so perfectly in my living room. And I had this crazy idea of getting a piano in here and I just never got the piano. And I got rid of the Vizio, but never got the piano. It has eight moments for you to create a vignette. It gives you so much opportunity to showcase all those items that you love. I am seriously thinking of going and just buying another one. Also, the Vizio is inspired by other shelving units that are very similar. Honestly, it's one of those items that is made by other brands that you won't even recognize it being from Ikea. The next items will be based on storage and who would have thought that storage could be stylish. I think that the Kugis boxes, the plastic white, I specifically think the white ones are so stylish. If you just invested a little bit a couple extra dollars into your storage boxes you can make your closets your kitchen your bathroom look like you put a lot of intention into it and these boxes are so sturdy and you will have them for so long keep an eye out whenever you go to um, ikea because sometimes they're found in the kitchen section sometimes they're found in like while you're walking through the showrooms and they have so many different options and number one i've said this and i will say it again because ikea is the best place to buy stylish curtains i believe that curtains should go all the way to your ceiling especially in an apartment if your ceilings are way too tall even better i just love a tall curtain most of them are at 98 inches some are longer than that and that's more than enough for most of apartments. I recently switched out to the Lenda white curtains and I bought the, the rings and the clips to go along with them and that, that was an easy update. I know I will have those for years. Simple and chic and you're not going to find curtains of this quality and of this length anywhere else for a cheaper price than Ikea. If you do, uh, send me that link. I hope you found these IKEA tips helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any other suggestions on classic timeless items from IKEA that you have and that you recommend to us. Again, if you'd like to connect with me on a more day-to-day -day basis, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Here is my handle. And also don't forget to subscribe. I will be coming out with a new video very soon that I'm very excited about. I hope you all have a great day and see you soon.